Welcome into Minnesota Vikings now. Some breaking NFL free agency news for you guys today. Zadarius Smith has signed, has agreed to sign, I should say, technically, with the Minnesota Vikings. A big contract and a big addition for Minnesota, which we will break down in depth momentarily. But remember to subscribe, and this is why you guys subscribe, right? For breaking news on the Minnesota Vikings. And today it's all about. Zedarius, plus some other minor roster moves we'll discuss at the end of today's video. But Smith is now a Viking after he sent out the uh, purple people eater line about uh, you know meeting at the quarterback. And there was a fake Vikings account that got a couple people on the signing. Now it is a done deal for Minnesota. It's a big addition for the Vikings defense. Zedarius Smith and Daniil Hunter, injury concern, sure, I guess, but... That's a really great duo at defensive end. And Smith, meanwhile, is cashing in and maximizing his value this year. The contract details are as follows. It's a three-year deal with $42 million base value. There are incentives that could take it up to $47 million. The average per year here is $14 million. To put this in perspective, and we'll spend some more time on this aspect, this is an upgrade on what Smith was going to get from the Baltimore Ravens. At the time, he had agreed to a four-year, $35 million deal. So on a shorter deal, his base value increases by $12 million. Smith uh, realized maybe he shouldn't rush into a deal with the Ravens. Now he cashes in for more money in Minnesota and sticks around in the NFC North. So grade this signing for me. I'm going to make this question the pinned comment, by the way, on today's video. So if that ad break comes on YouTube, go take advantage of it. While the ad plays, head down there. You can be happy, be sad, be angry, whatever. Grade the signing. Is it Darius Smith to Minnesota, A, B, C, D, or F? You know, for me, a, a B grade feels fair. You're getting a really good football player. You're basically getting him on the Randy Gregory contract. He signed with Denver in terms of the actuality. We don't have the exact guaranteed money. I, I would be surprised if there was an out before year two. That seems rather unlikely. So a, a B grade feels fair to me. I will make note that for Smith himself, this is an A grade. This is a way better contract than what he had agreed to with the Baltimore Ravens. There was interest from teams like the Cowboys and the Chiefs. I'll end up going with Zedarius Smith here in, or with, the, with the Vikings instead. Congrats to Zedarius as he cashes in in a big-time way. But that's fine with me. This fills a massive need for Minnesota. And Smith is a really good football player. I think it was the, the Quezio Dofo Mensa line that you need good, really good football players to win games. That's what Zedarius Smith is. Now, you might see only one tackle this past year. We'll come back to the back injury stuff here momentarily. But 2020, 2019, really good stuff. 12 and a half sacks. 13 and a half sacks, even if you only get 10-ish. But imagine Zadarius Smith opposite Daniel Hunter. If that duo is healthy, that's one of the best ones in the entire NFL. Is it Bosa Mack worthy? I don't know about that, but it's got to be top five in the NFL. Listen, you got two double-digit sack guys on this roster. Now, as for the injury side of it he did have a back injury in 2021 he also came back and played in the playoff game for Green Bay and looked just fine to me I I have heard and I'll shout out Brian Broaddus the former NFL executive who works down here in Dallas where we're based he talked to his Packers people they said it's fine not a concern do not be worried about the back injury so that's good news on the Smith front I wouldn't be concerned about the back end Minnesota wouldn't have agreed to this deal. The Ravens wouldn't have thrown big money at him if teams were actually worried about the back. If you have not already, please subscribe. We are less than 100 subscribers away from 3,000. So if you haven't already, join us. Heck, we're less than 50 away from 3,000 here. We're at 2,157. Let's hit that 3K mark so we can keep doing even more videos here for you on the Minnesota Vikings. I'm taking a shot here at this uh, the 3-4 th the, the front Minnesota will use in base packages. You've got your two edges, right? Daniil Hunter, Zadarius Smith, recent high-ish draft picks, DJ Wanham, Patrick Jones, Janarius Robinson. You could maybe move one of those guys to what's going to be your, your five technique defensive end role 
Uh, or I'll put, I, I guess, James Lynch for now. Maybe Jalen Twyman fills that role. I think your typical defense tackles, your nose guard, more your three technique guy, maybe some five technique as well for Harrison Phillips. Dalvin Tomlinson can be your nose. And when you go to your base packages, it'll probably be Tomlinson, Phillips, Smith, and Hunter. But I will make note that Darius Smith in the past has had a lot of success rushing from almost an interior inside linebacker stand-up type of role. That could be utilized, and you can still have, you know, a Jones, a Robinson, or one of a Kenny Lucas who played great down the stretch last year, still rushing in some sub-creative packages. So Smith will play edge. You could see him line up across the formation if the team's being smart. In the end, I think Hunter and Smith is a deadly duo. I still want to re-sign Daniel Hunter, by the way. They picked up that op that roster bonus, as they should have. He's a good football player. You don't trade away good football players if you're trying to win games now, which is what Minnesota is trying to do by keeping Kirk Cousins. So I, I love this pairing. Hunter's your edge one. Smith's your edge two. You do not have to take an edge really at all now in, in this draft, which you were trending towards having to do with no one opposite Hunter in terms of proven trustworthiness. So what is your one-word reaction to this signing here by Minnesota? Head down to the comment section, one word only, and let me know what you would use to describe this pickup. I'm going to go with impact. I think that's what Zedaria Smith will be. He will be an impact player for Minnesota. He is really going to help the Vikings. As long as he is healthy, I think the Vikings got themselves a damn good pass rusher, a player who will impact the, both the run game and the passing game and drastically help this organization in a big-time way. Now, I do think this spells the end of Anthony Barr's tenure in Minnesota. When they signed Jordan Hicks, we were like, okay, could you move him to off-ball linebacker? Or, excuse, scratch, scratch that. He played off-ball linebacker. I don't know why I keep doing that on this channel. Move him to edge? Kind of was that at UCLA. The Jets were going to have him play that role. Well, now you sign Zadarius Smith. Barr's gone. He is not coming back. I will make note, though, that since Smith was cut, he does not impact the comp pick formula. If Barr signs elsewhere, that will also help the Vikings in that process. The other minor addition, or I should say re-signing, Sean Mannion is back with the Minnesota Vikings officially. He will contend for the backup QB role, and we'll see what the Vikings' plans are for Kellen Mond as well.